Hey Aries, what's up? Welcome to your mid-month reading. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your love and support. You guys, it means the world to me. I'm so thankful for you. We're going to be seeing what messages need to come through for you for the second half of March. See what you guys need to know or be aware of and anything that Spirit has to tell you. Um, if this reading helps or resonates, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. And yeah, let's get into this, Aries. Let's see what's going on for Aries, Summer and Icing Venus for the second half of March 2023 what do we have Ooh, we got the bee ready to gather your honey and enjoy the slice of life what's going on for <laughs> dude that's way too many we're not taking that we ain't taking that give me a couple more cards for aries for the second half of march okay the bats Ooh, change is coming what is this change can i get one more for aries in march the mouse well <laughs> it's changes that you know you might be a little nervous or a little okay we'll, we'll, we'll explain okay it's time to level up you guys are leveling up second half of march you guys are really being asked to let go and surrender oh aries we have two new moon aries happening we had one shit what Am I, is it this month or is it next month? There's something about two new moons in Aries. You guys are the main character, okay? <laughs> you guys are the main freaking character. Yeah, we have, we'll have we have the new moon in Aries somewhere at the end of the month. And then we'll have another new moon in Aries, I think, next month. So anyways, you guys, you guys are the main character. Big changes are happening. Big shifts are taking place for you. And you you're gonna be doing just fine you're nervous though there's two cards out here indicating there's some nerves there's some anxiousness there's some worries here we'll get to it okay let's just break this down starting off with the b you're busy these next couple of weeks for you are going to be full on there's a lot that you're going to have to stay on top of and stay organized and focus and the tricky part is about not burning yourself out so really getting into the habit of practicing self-care practicing rest and balancing everything that's going on otherwise what will happen is that you're gonna end up leading yourself to burnout and when a bee is tired that's where the stinger comes out and you might get feisty you might get very moody you might get very irritated you might sting somebody you might lash out or pick a fight with someone so just you know watch out for that that's just something we're saying hey like all is well but just make sure you're not pushing yourself and then you become an asshole okay aries don't be an asshole <laughs> only if it's required only if it's a lot only if it's like necessary but that's like last resort right bees when they sting they then kill themselves right so you don't want to kill yourself right you want to say long happy healthy life right so if by any chance you have to put someone in their place or you have to pick a fight or you have to choose violence please let that be the last resort okay <laughs> as best as possible but um yeah you might be dealing with some work matters here there might be some changes going on in your work you might be making some sort of shift or change um but we have the bat that comes out next and the bat's all about transformation it's about release letting go surrender to the new and surrender to the old that's fallen away um full moon energy as well so what's the next full moon we have the next full moon in libra i don't even know when that will be somewhere <laughs> i don't remember y'all that would be after the new moon so like that's like next month okay i'm getting ahead of myself okay but the next full moon will be very important for you but obviously as the readings progress we'll talk about that that's not as important at the moment but you might have some important breakthroughs um beginning of next month all right beginning of airy season mm -hmm. all right um yeah but back to what i was saying there is something that about these changes these shifts that are happening you're feeling them you're starting to feel it you're starting to notice some changes going on internally going on externally in your relationships in your environments 
and part of you is a little nervous you're like <laughs> i just hope it all works out i just i, I just want to have a plan i just i want to make sure that it's all going to be okay you know you might be kind of hyper fixating on a couple little things or you know there's something on your mind that you can't seem to kind of shake off or get out of your out of your brain you can't seem to shut your mind off um the mouse definitely is someone who they're they're very like detail oriented actually both the bee and the mouse both are very focused on like the details so um you might be really focusing on like every single tiny little thing that's going on it's like the energy where you could get overwhelmed easily or just like overstimulated because there's just so much happening and you're trying to like take it all in keep your eyes peeled and not miss a single beat right you're trying to make sure that you got everything covered and everything under control the mouse is definitely someone who is a bit of a control freak so you might be in more of like i need to have control i need to know what's going to happen i need to have it all planned all organized all structured and planned and mapped out right so i guess your advice spirit is saying like get a plan in motion but be flexible when it comes to your plans because normally when a mouse in, the, in this case right in this deck when something comes out of nowhere or is a bit of a surprise that can be a bit of a surprising energy brings surprises surprising change the mouse doesn't know how to be flexible because the mouse is someone who's very like set in stone with like their ways or their um like their plans and their structure and so when something comes in like completely just like bulldozes the structure that you had in mind or you set in place it just it completely just throws you off coordinate off charts off the rails and you're like what the hell so it's like there's something here like you definitely have a plan figure out what you want what you're, what you're moving towards but be flexible okay because there might be little things that pop up that are redirecting you or shifting you in a different direction or shifting you to something better or it, it's taking you to what you want but it's just like an alternate route and the mouse you initially might react and like oh my god this is this is the worst thing ever this is terrible but it's like just trust the process as best as you possibly can and try to just like surrender to what's out of your control you know if someone cancels plans if some sort of thing falls through or something doesn't work out trust that it's happening for your highest good trust that there's a reason behind it that it's a blessing and that it's it's all going to be a fine in the end but again we have the rabbit at the bottom of the deck which is a very anxious restless kind of fearful energy um so th that's that's important that you need to pay attention to the fears that pop up or the anxiousness that pops up or the, the moments where you start having these doubts or negative thoughts that's a very important time for you to reflect where is this coming from why do i feel this way and then redirect how can you shift your thoughts how can you this is all like self-study here with the crow also to pay attention to your intuition but it's hard to hear your intuition when your thoughts and your brain are just going all over the place. You can't hear your intuition. You need to quiet in the mind. And so that's the energy of the swan. Kind of tying back in with the bee. It's like the swan and the bee are very similar. When they're out of balance, irritable, nippy, bitey, feisty, moody, you know, <laughs> both these cards represent that. So it's just like, if you're feeling any of that, any of that you would benefit from some alone time you would benefit from some space you need to chill you need to ch self-care guys really up to self-care and remind yourself it's gonna be okay and even though it doesn't look exactly like you had planned or mapped out doesn't mean you're not gonna get there doesn't mean it's it's all doomed and you're gonna fail none of that right but that's where your brain that's where your fear kicks in you start psyching yourself out you start having all these doubts when really spirit is just wanting you to surrender take a step back lessen the grip of control and have faith because it's all working out for you tarantula and the otter underneath that are you kidding it's all going to lead to your emotional satisfaction and happiness and freedom and this is like your divine plan okay the tarantula talks about like your dharma your purpose your soul's mission and literally aries you are here to be happy your soul's mission it says you are meant to be happy a path that you're on even a crossroad if you have any decisions to make 
deep down you already know what you need to do deep down intuitively even oh my god the crow and then the lamb underneath that book and the golden egg dude all these cards it's like do i even use a tarot in your oh my god and the black egg do i even bother using the tarot in your reading because this is just so <laughs> the way the cards are just like wait where did the moth come from that was underneath the golden egg okay i'm getting ahead of myself but I'm like all these cards are just flowing perfectly together like i don't even know anyways um if you're at a crossroad deep down intuitively you already know what needs to be done or you'll know deep down you just need to follow your gut you need to quiet the mind you need to take some time to like disconnect from the world and tune in with what is the thing that makes you the happiest or what path is going to fulfill you the most or what is the most like empowering you know but you have the answer within you or the answer the truth the clarity the guidance that you need is already within you this is coming out so many times um okay and you're like oh but what if that's the wrong choice or what if not what if this what if that does the doubt ignore the doubt push through that doubt trust yourself trust your freaking self okay okay now um let's get into the tarot wow animal talk animal cards just had a lot to say a lot to tell you am i feeling this deck yeah okay i am all right anyways let's get into this What's going on for Aries, second half of March, 2023? So there's some things that are coming up that you're maybe not able to prepare for. You don't foresee necessarily, but it's in your highest good. What's going on for Aries, second half of March? Deck is ready. Let's do this thing. What's going on for Aries? Thank you. Seven of Wands. Look at you. Caught off guard. Oh, that's you. I'm nervous. What if I mess up? What if they don't like me? What if they're judging me? Oh, right? The pressure is just, you know, even stressing how this, this dude, he's a scuba diver. He's like, do I have enough oxygen? What if I run out of oxygen? What if my, what if I'm, as I'm going up to the top, back, back up to land, whatever, what if um, my lungs explode? What if I come up too fast? And, <laughs> you know, like the overthinking is unreal here. Um, feeling just like sticking out like a sore thumb or even feeling like there's a lot of attention on you uh, nine of swords and you see the anxiousness the worry the stress oh my god these cards are just falling right out okay we have the queen of swords libra and dude what the these cards <laughs> okay king of cups is at the bottom ace of pentacles three of pentacles and the page of wands that's hilarious did you see how those cards just flipped out like wow that took no time at all so yeah um kind of like what i was saying i'm not gonna repeat myself this restless nervous anxious oh my god i need to have control or i'm gonna be screwed not true that's just your mind playing sick tricks on you okay so this is where queen of swords you gotta knock some sense into yourself you need to give yourself that little pep talk this is where you gotta get analytical you gotta sort through is this really the reality or is this just my fears is this something that's actually a concern something i should really be worried about or is this just my mind playing some sick trick on me so if the way you know is this a false fear or is this something i should actually be concerned about fear false fear false evidence appears real right so normally false fears are always constantly like shifting and shaping and it's it's never one thing it always just shifts to one thing or another so you know what you could always do is like make a like a list or like write down your thoughts or your feelings or whatever you're worried about or whatever you're feeling nervous or anxious about write it down and it will give you like another perspective it'll help you if it's a real legit thing to worry about there will be a solution like you will find the solution the queen of swords she has all the answers she will figure it out she she knows the ins and the outs and so if there's like something that you're stressing yourself out about you're like what if this is gonna happen or you don't worry like you're gonna figure it out but most of these fears or most of these things that you're stressing about aren't even that big of a deal or it's like you know you're blowing things out of proportion that our brain can do that our brain can really like we stress ourselves out over like nothing and then it happens and it turns out it wasn't even as bad or like we were blowing things out of proportion our brain can make things so much scarier than it actually is you know and that's the mouse it's just like this little tiny little mouse in this big old world um 
<sighs> stressing about the tiny little things that at the end of the day won't even matter a week from now a month from now the things that you're worried about at this moment Aries something that you're worried about or stressing about guarantee you a month from now you won't even be thinking about it most of it right depending on what it is and how big it is but like think back to a few months ago you were stressing about something you don't even remember it now <laughs> like you literally you've moved on to the next thing you're like oh my god i'm stressed about this this and that it's just like dude don't worry a month from now you're gonna be stressing about something else this thing that you're worried about it's not even gonna be that important you're gonna be worried about something else that most likely won't even be that big of a deal because you'll find a solution anyways so <laughs> anyways um queen of swords and then the eight of wands it's like man with a plan woman with a plan they them with a plan like dude you're gonna be just fine like you're gonna find a solution you're not gonna get stuck and um there's massive progress there's massive push we'll look into this eight of wands you're making big moves okay you just need to you can just trust yourself trust yourself trust your intuition it's leading you to the right path there is something new beginning here ace of pentacles could be relating to your work your money your finances um spirit wants you to take a closer look at something or you're like you're analyzing something or you're like again it could just be like this super over stimulated mind thinking 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 like over analyzing something right queen or what am i saying the, th the three of wands with the ace of pentacles even how she's got the magnifying glass it's like you ever take jewelry in? oh i actually haven't even done this but you take like jewelry and you find it on the street and you're like how much is this worth you take the the thing up close you're like i think it's real or is it real what if it's fake is this worth something what if it's not real you're like that's even about this new opportunity coming in or like if this is like new job or it's a new passion or it's something that could be really amazing and life-changing like is this real what if it's not i need to know i need to figure this out i need to like look closer at this um i need to look at the fine print and you know what that would probably be a good thing do your research that's for someone do your freaking research especially if you're investing money into this do your research um look at all your options okay but then we have the page of wands and it's just like all is well all is great page of wands is normally very uplifting it's a very positive frequency it normally talks about good news or it's like if you're waiting for an answer the answer is normally yes with this card um this can sometimes indicate like an invitation or some sort of communication coming in or you know hearing from an old friend or can reconnecting here even reconnecting to your passions or just feeling really motivated really driven and not feeding into the fears and the worries or the doubts or any of that yucky kind of energy okay it's like i see that you are like you're not there's moments where you feed into it but for the most part you got it under control okay a little control freak you got it under control <laughs> all right um but the things that are outside of your control spirit wants you to just surrender to that because the only thing you have control over is you yourself your emotions where you put your effort in towards you know so just choose your battles carefully because not again not everything is worth getting stung over or like stinging other people over like right you only got one stinger you got one stinger make it count you don't want to just waste it on anything or anybody plus then your life's over game over it's like don't do that <laughs> so obviously not literally but like even just a, i guess in a way it's like you got this one life are you really gonna start stressing out about like the smallest little thing you know sometimes they're silly and you know what your fears are it's it's all good right we all have our moments it happens to us all me and myself too like dude um am i using this deck i don't feel the i'm uh no okay no i'm feeling the no hell to the no anyways you guys it's just like just keeping your thoughts and your fears in check right we all experience anxiety and worries and stressful situations that pop up but just know you're gonna get through it and you always figure it out you've always figured it out every single time you've run into a situation like this in the past you're like how am i gonna figure this out how am i gonna work through this how am i gonna find a solution oh my god but you work through it magically it all worked out for you so just have faith that whatever comes up or whatever you're dealing with at the moment that's stressing you out you're gonna get through it. it's gonna be a breeze it's actually a lot smoother than you expect all right <laughs> so don't 
worry too much or i hope that this reading just like kind of eases your nerves okay but anyways let's look into this eight of wands see what you're moving towards eight of wands for aries summarizing venus why is the eight of wands here for aries okay so we have the prince of pentacles and the chariot all right so smooth smooth slow calculated smooth and calculated action normally eight of wands talks it's like fast paced it can also talk about multiple things that are occurring at once multiple situations unfolding at once multiple manifestations coming into and arriving into your life at once it can feel overwhelming again that's a vibe i just got something in my that's a vibe that's been showing up in your reading is like feeling overwhelmed or easily stressed out or overstimulated because there's just so many moving pieces and puzzles and ah, it's a lot right just try your best to just take it one step at a time you don't need to rush you don't need to you know move at any pace that you're uncomfortable with spirit just says like move nice and slow you don't need to rush into anything you, need, you don't need to be impulsive okay you're not gonna miss out on anything just move at the pace that feels most comfortable for you but you know at a nice slow steady pace slow down it's like you're in a school zone slow down you don't need a rush you don't need a race it's all good in the hood alchemist at the bottom nine of cups like literally you, this is you moving towards wish fulfillment big ol fat wish coming true and all you got to do four swords underneath that you just need to chill you just need to rest you need to catch your breath slow down take it easy on yourself try to take on take off that that extra pressure or a certain expectations that you place on yourself like just let it go and let things flow like okay let's look into this ace of pentacles see what this is about and then i think that's it i think that's kind of all we need to look into for you talk about the ace of pentacles for aries what does aries need to know about this ace of pentacles why is the ace of pentacles here for aries wow this deck just got super stuck all of a sudden so bear with me um talk about the ace of pentacles how many is this do i really want to take this money fuck it <laughs> okay spirit judgment nine of swords this is literally you the whole stress overthinking the tiniest little thing you got some of you is like you got a new job and you're like oh my god i'm worried what am i gonna wear what if, or like you have a, an interview coming in what am i gonna wear oh my god i want to make the best impression what if they judge me what if what if i make a mistake what if i mumble and fumble my words uh you know for someone's like going out of your comfort zone and you're just like you're nitpicking apart all the possibilities of how things could go wrong and you're just stressing yourself out for nothing judgment this opportunity which i'm still not 100 percent sure what it is hopefully these two cards i haven't flipped over might give us a little bit more specific uh, but this beginning this new start that you're worrying about or that you're in your head about you're having these like it's good for you it's gonna be really good for you anyways you're like stress yourself out but this is divinely orchestrated this is coming in like this is in alignment with you okay now let's see what these cards are ace of wands and temperance oh and the fool oh my gosh aries there you are out here also aquarius we have saggy we have more fire so this might be about some sort of dream job a career a passion of yours for some it's like school or university or something that you're really passionate about that you want to study this is a big freaking deal this is a big deal it makes sense why you're worrying about it because you don't want to mess it up you're like i just don't want to mess it up i'm really excited i've i've wanted this my whole life i prayed i've worked so hard to get here oh i just don't want to mess this up i just don't want to fumble it guess what aries you can't screw up what's meant for you and this is literally made for you written in the stars meant to be for you this is your destiny going back going back to the animal cards don't forget the tarantula destiny this is your destiny this is part of the roadmap the spider web that you are meant to be on the connection the steps the path that you're on right you think about a spider web and all the little integrate little paths and possibilities and yet you're here where you are and it's led to this road 
to this new start, this new beginning. This is destiny. This is meant for you. And you're like, oh, but what if I mess it up? What if I screw it up? If you screw it up, it's not meant for you. That means there's something better. You're not going to screw this up, though. You're going to do bloody amazing. You're going to do incredible. I'm so excited for you. This is amazing. Like, dude. <laughs> I feel so happy for you, Aries. I can't stop smiling. So you just need, all you need to do is just chill. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out, ground, calm, calm your nerves, stay excited, calm your nerves. If you're nervous, if you're scared, if you're anxious, trick yourself into saying, no, I'm not nervous, I'm excited. Start psyching yourself out. You're like, oh my God, I'm so scared, I'm so nervous, I'm so anxious. No, you're excited. You're excited. You're anticipating. You can't wait to start. You can't, you're looking forward to the adventure. It's adventurous. Look at it in an exciting way. Look at it like this is adventure for you. This is not something to be afraid of. This is, you are more than capable. You are ready for this. You were born for this. Dude, Aries, let me know how this resonates. Like, seriously, this is a big deal. I'm so excited for you. You're gonna find the flow, you're gonna find the rhythm. It's gonna just it's gonna come to you so easily, so naturally. Why the hell does it make me think of that old ass Selena Goma song? It goes naturally. It's like it's gonna come natural to you. You're it's like it's gonna be a breeze. Okay, I feel like relieved for you. Like just as I said that, I'm just like the vibes now. I'm like, okay, like it's gonna be amazing. You're gonna love it. You you're gonna love what is coming in, okay? Again, it might not be initially, it might not be exactly what you had in mind or the way that you uh, the way that you had it planned. And that's what has you stressing because like, oh my god, fuck, this is not this is not gonna work, or like, you know, you're stressing yourself out. But really it's just the little details that might not completely match up with what you had met and had in mind but the grand scheme of things this is exactly what you wanted and it's probably even better <laughs> okay so aries enjoy it's gonna be great i'm so happy for you you deserve this big 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 blessings and lots of things to look forward to just take your time right going back take your time slow down you don't need a rush one step at a time that's all good okay so i'm gonna leave your reading here i hope this was helpful and insightful let me know if it was in the comments below leave a like subscribe if you'd like to book a private reading with me the info's in the description box and yeah aries i'm gonna let you guys go thank you for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one bye